Rahul Ishwar had a point to make. Vishnu ji, Vishnu ji, let let me articulate a much more nuanced point. One, I am proud to be a Gorakshak. I am in cow production committees. I am a Hindu right-wing activist. At the same point of time, we respect everybody's sentiments. People like Ali Abhat or Ranveer Kapoor should be engaging with the audience. There is a huge sentiment regarding cow. Our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, was a Gorakshak. You know, he even bought his ashram in the name of the cows. Article 48 is in Indian constitution because there is a sentiment. Baba Sahib Ambedkar put it because there is a sentiment involved. We started our first war of independence in 1857 because of cow. So please respect that sentiment. Yes, they are great stars. Just like Amir Khan is engaging, even apologizing to the audience. I believe Bollywood celebrities should have a thick skin. They should engage. They should engage with the audience. Otherwise, it is always going to be an unhealthy relationship. Mr. Nobody supports Mr. violent protest. Nobody supports All right, one second. One second. Are you got Mr. that Mr. point? I just, I just want to There's raise this point. Okay, Karika, go ahead. Vishnu ji, I want to ask the, the Bajangal activists that 11 years back when he made this statement, why did they not protest? Why are they so opportunistic and they're protesting now and Brahmastra is releasing? 11, month, 11 years they had amnesia. They forgot. They had no sentiments. What about Rahul ji? Why didn't he protest at that time? And what do you mean by thick skin? We are also human beings. And it was wrong of Amir Khan to apologize. Why should he apologize? And if you were forced him to apologize. That is a sad state of affairs that has come to. Why should Ranveer Kapoor apologize for his choice of food? And he said it on a food show. He did not say, oh, I meat khaya, I beef khata, isne main mandir jaunga. It was not that. So he did not disrespect anybody's religious sentiments. He spoke about what his choices are. Rahul, you wanted to we respect? respect his choices, but yeah, just one second. You know, I'm great a voucher of Hindu Muslim unity. It is just like if somebody is going to holy Mecca and he's saying I'm having pork and going to holy Mecca, there is a sentiment that issue is involved. Point. Please remember, that there is, is a sentiment point. here, and that sentiment is I respect your outrage, but at the same point of time. No, but why make this equation between Hindus and Muslims? Why is it always one faith no, against the other? No, if, a person, like if, 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 if a person who happens to be Hindu has eaten beef, do we condemn him for the rest of the life, prevent him from entering no, no, temple? No, 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 do we need so to be that right. extreme? Please remember, and we, please remember, in 1857, Hindu saints and Muslim fakirs came together in the name of cow and especially you know pork. You may remember the 1857. Rahul ji, you have a job. Put spy cameras in people's houses and see who is eating beef and don't allow them.